Alright guys, how's it going? First of all, I want to apologise for the background noise. My kids are having a 4 player Mario Kart and it's absolute carnage. So I got a few comments regarding this cloth render. Pretty much, how did you make this? So in the first part of this video, we'll replicate this kind of cloth effect. And then in part 2, I'll actually address a reddit user's comment. So I'd made this. And it's pretty much, how did you make this set up? Uh, how do you get the face just to give slightly? So in part two, we'll replicate something like this. So let's jump into Blender. Traditional fashion, let's delete the cube. Let's add in a UV sphere. And let's add in a plane. Now nothing exotic at the moment. So what I'll do is I'll scale the plane out to something like this. So I'll just move the plane up just above the sphere. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to scale down the sphere ever so slightly. So I'll press S to scale, so something like that. And I'll move this just to keep it above. Now in order to get good deformations with cloth, you generally need a pretty high subdivision. And I was actually taught to actually triangulate the mesh, but, but we'll just add a modifier and we'll do a subdivision surface. We'll make it simple and for continuity we'll make render 6 and we'll make viewport 6. Now we can quickly press Z to see the wireframe. Something like that. Not too heavy. Maybe move it up a bit. Yeah, why not? Let's go for it, yeah. Okay, something like that. Seven. So what I'll do now is I'll essentially go to the physics tab. On the sphere, I'll give it a collision. And on the plane, I'll give it a cloth. Now, I could put the quality steps up, but I'll just leave it at default. Uh, if you're starting to do a simulation, these are things you should be playing about. But what I'm going to do is put on self collision. And then I'll pretty much just hit play to simulate. In fact, let's just put the steps up a bit. Let's just make it something like 7. We'll go in the middle. 7 for 7. And we'll hit play. Now, obviously, the higher the subdivision, the higher the quality steps, the things that you mess around with will influence the actual simulation time. So essentially what I'm waiting to do is wait for the mesh to fold in bounce off itself and then relax. It gives it that kind of drape. So I'll quickly fast forward for you. So I'm already kind of bored of waiting, so I'll pause the animation. Then I'll jump into solid mode for you. So you're getting something like this. So the next thing to do is essentially apply the cloth modifier. And we don't need the sphere anymore, so I can actually delete this from the scene. Now you can see here, we're getting a little bit of faceting and a bit of pinching. So first of all, let's change the shade smooth. Let me get this. Not bad, not bad. But I'm going to cheat a little bit and I'm going to add in another subdivision modifier. And let's just put it up to 2 in the viewport. Why not? Now you can actually see stepping in the mesh here. And this is one of the tricks that I'll show you. So if you jump into sculpting, you'll actually see the deformation in the mesh. So first of all, I'll take off symmetry mode. I'll put the radius of my brush up, put the strength down, and then I'll just press shift it and I'll smooth the mesh out. So pretty much something like that. And any bits that I'm not entirely happy with, just start to smooth them out. So I'll jump back into layout. Now, this mesh is pretty dense, so if I press Z, you can see here, it's way too dense. Animating this would be tricky, but not impossible, but tricky. So we can actually use the decimate modifier. Now I'll go to unsubdivide, and I'll just put, you can see my poly count here is 261,000, 62,000. So if I put iterations up to 1, that'll actually drop it down by nearly half. Now obviously depending how dense the mesh is, so maybe try two and let's see what that does. There we go, we're still getting a pretty decent mesh and we've pretty much reduced it by quarter. So we can apply this and that's how you decimate a mesh. I hope this tutorial's been of help. I'll move on to part two. Do me a favour guys, like and subscribe to the channel, it does help out and obviously I'm trying to grow it at the moment. Thanks for watching, you know what to do, peace.